guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have decided for the first time ever on this channel to review Sugar Cosmetics products. And this is all thanks to Jyoti Sethi. If you've seen my last or last last video where I collaborated with her, she's another YouTuber. Go show her some love because she is the one who handed me very very generously handed me over her sugar PR package uh, this is from the metal collection by sugar cosmetics as you all know I do not receive PR from sugar so I did not have any of the lipsticks from this collection and they come with a very heavy price tag so in today's video you will come to know if these lipsticks are actually worth the heavy price tag they come with I have been testing this out for the entire week I have had this package with me for one week now and have been playing around with all the lipstick shades, the formulas and everything so if you are interested to know how I feel, my honest honest review about these lipsticks then please keep on watching but before that if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure that you are click on subscribe the red big red subscribe button down below and also make sure that you click on the notification bell next to it so you are notified every time I upload a video now keep on watching <laughs> so this is a very beautiful PR package it's pretty compact opens like this it has a mirror over here and says all that matters is metal uh, so the entire theme of this is metal it has a note which is of course for Jyoti so I'm going to keep that aside and it has the entire collection right over here so they have all the liquid lipsticks there are three liquid lipsticks one more liquid lipstick here three lipsticks and one more lipstick here uh, these are not of course all the shades, there are many more shades in the collection. I will mention the uh, links to these in the description section so you can go check them out. Now um, diving right into this, I'm going to first show you on how the unicartons of this uh, these lipsticks look like. So this is the unicarton which comes with the regular bullet lipstick. I find it very very intriguing and gorgeous. It has this reflective holographic rose gold packaging that says sugar metal on it and to the sides there are like these two things and a thread which actually holds them together. So you unwind this thread and open the box which is so like, like you know a jewellery box exactly that's how it feels and then you got your lipstick right here. This is what the gorgeous lipstick packaging looks, reflective metal packaging rose gold in colour. Since I've already showed you all what the packaging of this uh, bullet lipstick looks like, let's start with talking about the bullet lipstick. Now the colours I have right here with me are 01 Athena which is also something which is on my lips right now. This right here is one of my favourite colours from all of these lipsticks that I have over here. Not just the bullet lipstick but also the liquid lipstick. This is my favourite lipstick. You know my love for red. It's, it's an amazing burnt red colour and I love how it looks and feels also. Now starting with all the properties of this lipstick, I went in with a very very scrutinizing um, thing to these lipsticks because they are a much higher price tag than their regular sugar lipsticks. They do say that this is their ultra luxe uh, lipstick collection so that's why they priced it high. Seeing the packaging it definitely feels worth the pr price if I say packaging does feel very luxe because MAC being so expensive also doesn't come in such fancy as packaging. This packaging was superb. The bullet also feels very very heavy, very luxe. This plating right here is very gorgeous and good quality plating, not like those which will you know scrape off and come off. Now for the actual bullet lipstick, this is what it looks like. This part of it is matte and then again reflective down. Now when you first put on this lipstick, it feels super smooth, super soft and buttery. It's not one of those matte lipsticks that you would have to like press for the pigment to come onto your lips you'll really just have to glide and they'll feel so soft and cushiony on your lips so it felt great to apply it for the first time it's something I've never really felt before but one more thing I noticed was that it wasn't very pigmented on the first swipe like like I said my lips are pretty hyper pigmented I need some rich pigment to be able to cover it they were not that pigmented but if you go in two times, two times is more than enough, you can build the lipstick up and it will look just as opaque as it's looking right now. This is just two applications or two swipes of the lipstick. Now given that this lipstick is a lipstick and not a liquid lipstick, I would expect it to transfer quite a lot. But surprisingly enough, this lipstick does not transfer. I'm not saying it does not transfer at all. 
but it transfers so so little that you might just feel that you're wearing a liquid lipstick somehow i feel like this lipstick has all the properties of a liquid lipstick without the drying aspect of it like throughout your day you will feel like it's so soft cushiony moisturizing even and just so comfortable and lightweight like if i was not looking at myself in the viewfinder right now i might feel i have nothing on my lips that's how comfortable they feel because i was wearing it to college and all day i was asking people is there lipstick on my lips still because i can't really feel it and there was very much so a lipstick not just the tint of the lipstick but actual lipstick on my lips when i came back home after 8 hours of college there was still lipstick on my lips so that is a great thing because you know i'm drinking water all day talking all day eating all day and for the lipstick to still stay on an amazing amazing wear test i will just show you all can you see it has not come at all did it no it does not transfer at all see if i hard kiss my lips that's how much transfer you get and you still have a rich pigmentation on your lips it's actually lipstick on your lips and not just the tint you know so that was something so amazing i don't know what she guys done with this that formula was unique to me very very truly speaking when i applied it at the beginning of my day the first day when i was testing these out i applied it and i felt like or uh, it was in pigmented enough and i felt you know ye to ab bhi nikal jayega like by the time i eat my first breakfast in the morning in college this lipstick is going to be a goner but i was so so surprised that at the end of the day also it was very much so on my lips and it did not transform any of my food even with the nanka ultra matte which are hands down my best like most favorite lipstick formula they do transfer throughout the day they are also very long lasting but throughout the day you will have some amount of transfer so if you are eating a sandwich you will find your lipstick on the sandwich or if you are drinking coffee you will find your lipstick on the coffee mug but somehow these do not transfer and still stay on so you don't feel that uncomfortable feeling you know also with like darker colors you get that thing where your lipstick transfers to your chin that also does not happen with this lipstick so i think the formula is something just out of the box out of this world and that is why i feel it is worth the 1000 rupees price tag so all in all these lipsticks are totally sarasaroj approved i would really like to invest my money into this and i would recommend you all invest your money into this that was all about the bullet lipsticks now keeping them aside let's talk about the liquid lipsticks so the liquid lipsticks come in the similar holographic rose gold packaging with the entire thread system going on over here so i'm just going to remove this out of the box so this is what the liquid lipstick looks like it has a transparent plastic bottle with the regular uh, bullet lipstick ke jaisa wala cap so starting with this liquid lipstick packaging i did really actually like this also because you get to see the entire color in the bottle and you get this beautiful gorgeous rose gold metallic dhakan now when you open it the applicator on this is like your regular doe foot applicator nothing anything special or anything like that uh i found the applicator a bit scratchy that was like you know since i was being so so scrutinizing about them when i first put it on i was like kujili or right i keep the colors in this are very unique uh i found the liquid lipstick colors to be very unique very out of the box as compared to the regular bullet lipstick colors i don't know what other colors they have apart from these four that i have right here but the four that i have right here are very different like the red is not a typical red the purple is not a typical purple it's something i don't really have in my collection so it's very unique with the color selection with the lipstick liquid lipstick formula i did not find anything very really out of the box it was a very standard liquid lipstick formula went on very smoothly did not emphasize any creases stayed on for really really long or uh, it does but go away as the day goes by from like inside of your mouth so, which is also the case with the lipsticks i forgot to mention that it does come out come out from the inside of your mouth but since it is a lipstick and not a liquid lipstick that demarcation is not very uh, prominent like the once it comes off also it will look like an ombre effect and not like ke lipstick nikal gaya hai but with liquid lipstick when it comes out from the inside of your mouth it looks like okay you eaten something and lipstick has come off from your mouth you know can you understand what i'm saying one more thing i want to mention none of these lipsticks do have any fragrance so it will not bother you it should not bother you again the liquid lipsticks do i feel they are worth 1200 rupees i will not tell sugar what to price them at i feel they are good lipsticks you want to invest your money that is your personal choice 
I did really find all of these lipsticks worth the price tag because there is really honestly speaking no negative I can point out like I tried and I tried and every day of the week I did try here I need to give my subscribers some negative but apart from the very uh, less pigment on first swipe negative in the lipstick and the scratchy applicator in the liquid lipsticks I can't really give you all a negative and I don't want to bash the brand for no reason like they don't have a fault over here right from the packaging to everything else i feel they really thought this through that they want to make it worth the money for their buyers and i think that's a great thing all of you all know if you're like og subscribers that i get very scrutinizing when something is very expensive so i was the same with this collection but what i felt sugar did was you know really put their thought effort and money into making it rather than just mass producing a lot of makeup uh this was all the thoughts i had about these lipsticks now i'm going to give you all quick swatches of all the lipsticks that i have right here so keep on watching hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side Watches for all the lipstick colors that I have. Huge thank you to Jyoti Sethi for giving me her PR kit so I could do this video. I hope you guys liked this video. This was very, very much my honest thought because this PR kit is also not mine, and definitely this video is not sponsored by Sugar. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, hit the like button if you did actually like this video. Let me know in the comments below which other videos you want me to do. And also, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that's the only way you can show your support to me. Thank you for all the love. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you all. Mwah.